I built this subscription tracking app in under 30 minutes. A year ago, this would have taken me an entire weekend, if not longer. But here's the actual crazy part. AI is now generating more than 50% of newly written code in companies, yet most of us don't know which AI tools actually work. I've been using different AI tools for the past two years, and I'm about to show you the exact tools that will make you and your team more productive. Towards the end, I will also share the most fundamental mistake I see developers make when using AI tools. We'll start with conversational assistants. These are your coding partners that never sleep, never judge your questions, and know every programming language. First, we have ChatGPT, which is probably where you started with AI. Type a question, get an answer. Felt like magic in 2022, but now it's just normal. You can use it to plan your app architecture, generate code, write unit tests, fix bugs, and a lot more. However, if I were to pick a conversational assistant, I would go with Claude. I've used it consistently for the past two years, and it is an app that I never close. A third option is Gemini from Google. The newer models are really impressive, and I've been using it for a while now to get a second opinion. Now, the great thing is ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini are all free. They do have a daily limit, but if you hit the limit with one, simply switch to the other. Of course, conversational assistants are just the beginning. The next category of tools have full context of your entire code base and can feel like they're reading your mind. You're talking about AI IDEs. They have the context of your entire project and can generate code, debug, and refactor in just a few seconds. Cursor is the most popular one right now. It's a fork of VS Code with AI superpowers built in. You can press tab for code completion, ask questions in the chat, inline edit with AI, generate entire features with agent mode, connect to MCP servers, and a lot more. If you're a senior developer, you'll absolutely love it. Another great one is Warp. It's an agentic development environment. You can describe what you want to build in natural language, and it writes code, runs commands, connects to MCP servers, and handles deployment while keeping you in control of what it's doing. But what makes Warp stand out is that you can run multiple agents in parallel, something that's still in beta in tools like Cursor. So one agent might be building a front-end feature, while another builds a back-end API, and a third agent debugs and implements a fix all at the same time. Actually, the subscription tracker app I showed you earlier, it was built entirely with Warp using this approach. You've also got Windsurf, another VS Code fork with solid AI features and great UI, and good old VS Code, the OG editor that's getting better with GitHub Copilot and new AI features. On the agentic environment side, you also have Claude Code, OpenAI's Codex CLI, and more recently, Google's Gemini CLI. For our next category, I'm calling it App Builders. These lean heavily into the no-code approach, or what you might know as vibe coding. We have two standouts, Bolt and Lovable. Both let you type a prompt and watch an entire app come to life, but Lovable only supports React, whereas Bolt supports React, Vue, Svelte, Expo, and a lot more. But wait, there's something even crazier. Imagine giving the AI your designs from Figma and watching it automatically become production-ready code that follows your existing codebase patterns. That is Fusion by Builder.io. Now this one's special because I work at Builder.io. I have it under Design to Code category though, because it does it like no other tool. But let me tell you, it is on par with Cursor, Lovable, Bolt, and other AI tools. It understands your design system and APIs. Plus, you can visually edit the code just like you would tweak designs in Figma. We launched Fusion just two weeks ago. So if you take it for a spin, let me know what you think. I will personally share your feedback with the team. Now, a common theme I've seen with AI code generations is developers spending time to check the code quality. But what if the AI could do that too? First, we have CodeRabbit, which does line-by-line -line code reviews and learns from your feedback to get better over time. It catches security issues, generates clean PR summaries for complex changes, and even has an agentic chat feature to automate code changes and unit tests. The best part is it integrates directly into your Git workflow as well as your AI IDEs like Cursor and VS Code with GitHub Copilot. Then we have Sneak, which focuses on security scanning throughout your development process. It continuously monitors your code, dependencies, containers, and infrastructure for issues. In addition to the alerts, it even provides automated fixes. But even with perfect code reviews, production still breaks. Luckily, we've got AI tools for debugging too. 
I'm sure you've all experienced this annoying problem where someone reports a bug but gives you zero useful details. Well, with Jam, you simply send a recording link, they click it, show you what's happening, and AI automatically generates a proper bug report with reproduction steps, network logs, console details, browser info, basically everything you actually need to debug. You can even ask the AI to suggest fixes. For our last category, we have something pretty much every developer dreads, documentation. But AI actually makes this bearable now. We are talking about Mintlify, which reads your code base and automatically generates documentation from it. The AI scans your code, understands what it does, and creates comprehensive docs that stay up to date. Plus, it has built-in AI chat so users can ask questions about your docs directly. Now, Mintlify is pricier than the other tools we have covered, but it's really designed for teams and organizations, so if your company is looking for a tool like this, Mintlify is a great option. But what is better than using these AI tools? Building your own. Which brings me to today's sponsor, Scrimba. Scrimba just launched their full stack developer path that takes you through everything, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and TypeScript, React, Node.js, and more. But they have a dedicated AI engineering module that teaches you to build AI products. You'll learn everything from using OpenAI's API to working with vector databases and AI agents. Plus, you'll build real projects along the way. You can watch a video and edit the code right in the same window, take on challenges, rewind code changes, and the learning experience is honestly unlike anything else out there. So check the link in the description for 20% off of your subscription. All right, let me now share the most fundamental mistake I see developers make when using AI tools. They treat prompting like it's just writing a quick task description. Build me a login component or fix this bug, and expect magic to happen. But here's what most people don't realize. In every serious AI application, there's something called context engineering, and it's both an art and a science. The science part is that you need to give the AI the right information in the right format. That means task descriptions, examples of what good output looks like, relevant code from your project, error logs, your coding standards, Basically, everything the AI needs to understand your specific situation. Too little context, and the AI doesn't have enough to work with. Too much irrelevant context, and you're wasting tokens and actually hurting performance. The art part, understanding AI psychology. And yes, that's a real thing. It's knowing how to structure your prompts so the AI thinks through problems step by step, knowing when to be specific versus when to be creative and knowing how to break complex problems into smaller chunks. So the next time you're using AI tools, don't just throw a quick prompt at them. Think about what context the AI needs. Give it examples, tell it about your code base structure, and explain your constraints. The difference between a one-liner and a well-engineered prompt is often the difference between mediocre code and something that actually saves you hours of work. 